Welcome back to Children's Worship. It's time for you to stand up wherever you are and sing and dance with me. Our song today is called We Thank You. We gather here to give you thanks for all the good things you have done. We set our gaze on your grace. Your love so constant, love so strong. Everything good is from you. Father so faithful and true. Welcome back to Memory Verse Time. Our verse today comes from Psalm chapter 55, verse 16. It says, As for me, I call to God and the Lord saves me. So let's add some motions to that. Point to yourself and say, As for me, I call, put your hands to your mouth like you're calling, to God and the Lord sign language for Lord, saves me. Let's do it again slowly. As for me, I call to God and the Lord saves me. Psalm 55, 16. Let's do it one more time, a little bit faster, okay? As for me, I call to God and the Lord saves me. Psalm 55, 16. Great job. All right, let's jump into our Bible video for today. Heroes of the Bible, Jonah. This is Jonah. Uh -huh. Jonah was a prophet 
That means it was his job to tell people what God told him to say. Yep. One day, God told Jonah to go to Nineveh because the people of Nineveh were doing bad things. Uh... But instead, Jonah ran away. Where are you, please? And went to the port to board a ship going the other way. He was hoping to get away from God. Oh, he sailed for a place called Tarshish. While he was at sea, God sent a great and powerful wind over the sea that caused a storm that seemed like it would break the ship apart. Fearing for their lives, the sailors tried everything they could think of to save the ship. Meanwhile, Jonah was sound asleep. So the captain went down and said, how can you sleep at a time like this? Get up and pray to your God. Maybe he will help us. Then the crew figured out that Jonah was the reason for the storm. Uh, uh -oh. And they asked him, who are you? Why is this happening to us? Jonah told them who he was and that he worshiped the one true God who made the sea. Then he told the sailors to throw him in the sea so the storm would stop. No, why? The sailors still tried to escape the storm, but it was no use. Uh... So they asked God for forgiveness and threw Jonah into the sea. The storm stopped at once. Whoa! The sailors were amazed at God's power and they vowed to serve him. Now God sent a great fish to swallow Jonah. Uh, great. And Jonah was inside the fish for three days and nights. Jonah prayed to God from inside the fish and God ordered the fish to spit Jonah out. Uh, yuck. God told Jonah again to go to the city of Nineveh to tell them what God had said about them. I get it, I get it. This time, Jonah obeyed God and went to Nineveh to deliver God's message. <coughs> the people of Nineveh stopped doing bad things and turned to God. They were saved because they listened to the message that God had given Jonah. Super video. Today I want to ask you a question. Have you ever chosen not to follow directions from your teachers or maybe your parents? Mm-hmm. I did the same thing when I was your age, yes, of course. And why do you think that you didn't follow those directions? Hmm. I bet it was because you didn't want to. That's the number one reason. Or you think you know better, right? That's probably number two. Sometimes we need to follow the directions. And today our story is all about that. It's about Jonah. We all know what happened to Jonah, right? He was asked by God to go to a place called Nineveh because these people in Nineveh were not behaving the way God wanted them to behave. And he said, hey, you know what? I'm going to send you, Jonah, to go and take care of it for me and do the right thing. Guess what? Jonah said, no way. He wasn't going to Nineveh. He didn't like the Ninevites. He didn't want to do what God asked him to do. And he was just being plain stubborn. None of you are like that, right? I know you're not. So he gets to the point where he says, no, God says, okay, I'm going to make you change your mind. So he gets on a boat and he's going to sail away from another, you know, to another place and not go to Nineveh because God told him to. And he thinks I can run away and God will never find me. Uh, that's not the truth, is it? God knows exactly where you are at all times. So, he's in the boat. There's a big storm raging. And he realizes that he is probably the cause of this because God was not pleased with Jonah. So, he tells him, just throw me overboard. Things will be all right. 
I'll stop the storm. Things will be good. So out Jonah goes. And he's swimming around in this big old water, probably an ocean, might be a sea, I'm not real sure. And God sends something to save Jonah. What do you think it is? Let's see. What was it? Here it comes. Woo, here comes a big whale. He comes and he saves Jonah by swallowing him. That was all a part of God's plan. He spent three days and three nights in the belly of this fish. Now, do you think that he was busy thinking about what he was supposed to do? Do you think he was spending all of his time in prayer? Do you think it was smelly and dark in there? Oh, yeah. And do you think that being inside this big old whale was fun? Nope. God taught Jonah a lesson. And he said, okay, God, I'm going to go to Nineveh because you asked me to, and I will do your will because I'm going to do what you tell me is right. So the whale opened his mouth. He spit Jonah out. He landed on some dry land. And guess what he did? He got up and he ran as fast as he could. He got to Nineveh. He helped them understand what God wanted them to do. And therefore, he listened to God. Sometimes we don't want to listen to who we're talking to. And sometimes our parents have a really important plan for us. And sometimes God talks to you and you don't even know that what he's saying to you right now might be really important somewhere else down the road. You just never know. Listen, hear, obey. God wants us to do that every single day. Let's echo pray. Ready, pray. Dear God, thank you for loving us. When you ask us to do something, it's hard sometimes. Help us remember to follow your commands. Even when we don't understand all of your plans. Help us to learn and listen to you. Help us to love and to forgive and grow with you. Amen. All right. Go in peace and be sweet this week. Bye-bye. All right. Today's activity is about Jonah and the whale, and I'm going to teach you how to make a fun craft that doubles as a game. What could be better than that? So these are the things you need, and we will give you more information in the comments if you want to do this at home, okay? So I'm going to teach you how to make this. The first thing you'll need is a solo cup that is preferably blue. I painted one earlier, so you could paint it if it's not painted, but you need to ask mom or dad to punch a hole in the top because we are going to use this string that is about the length of your arm, your forearm, and you'll want to thread that string through the hole, okay? And so when your string comes out at the top, you're going to tie a knot. This might be a little hard, so again, ask mom or dad if you need help, you might have to do it two times. I'm going to do it two times just in case. Okay? And then once you pull it tight, you'll need a piece of tape that you can tape on there. So that way, that string is not going anywhere. Okay. So we taped it. What are we going to do next? Well, you need to cut out your whale tail out of blue construction paper. Okay? This is going to get taped also to the bottom just like that, okay? So I'm gonna take another piece of tape. I'm gonna tape it on to the cup, like that, you see? Okay, so what do we need next? And if you have this super long tail like I do, I'm just gonna cut it off, so that way you don't have to deal with it, okay? So, what are we gonna do next? We need to add some eyes for our fish or our whale. So I'm gonna use some stick-ons because those are really easy for me to use. But if you had googly eyes like I do, you could put googly eyes on there or you can even 
draw them with the Sharpie. So I'm gonna take my eyes, I think I'm gonna do these right here. And so my eyes are gonna go towards the front, just like that, okay? So I have one eye, and then I have the other on this side, okay? So there is the big fish, okay? So now we're just missing Jonah. So this part is a little messy, so ask mom for help. So we're gonna take a funnel and a balloon and we're gonna put our funnel inside our balloon like that. And we're gonna take some flour, okay? Because this flour is gonna go into our balloon and it's gonna expand a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna put it in there. Then you're gonna have to shake it till it goes all the way in there. There you go. Kind of messy, but it'll be okay. So shake it. <laughs> shake it up. Okay. We're gonna keep shaking. We're gonna add some more. Okay. All right. And once you think you've had enough, shake a little bit more. And we're gonna try to get all of this in there, okay? It might take a while, but it's part of the fun. So keep shaking. Shake, 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 shake. We're almost done, I promise. Okay, so, oh, okay, I got it all. I didn't think I was gonna do it. But, okay, now that we have it in there, you're gonna wanna tie your balloon on to your string. So that, here's another kind of difficult part, okay? So I'm gonna try to do this together so that way, I do two steps in one. Okay, so let's see if we can do it. Okay, I think I did it. Miss Alicia's doubting me, but I totally did it. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so now what's missing from our Jonah is an actual Jonah. So I'm gonna take a Sharpie and you can take a Sharpie too and you are gonna draw on your balloon a little bitty Jonah. So I'm not doing anything super fancy because I want to have fun with this already, okay? So now that it's all together and it's all assembled, this is how you play. So let's hope our camera gets this, but you're gonna swing your Jonah and you wanna try to get him in the whale, okay? So ready, one, two, three, and we got him, okay? Well, that was so much fun, so I want you to make this at home, okay, and have fun getting Jonah in your big fish. All right. Okay. We've had a great day. Let's close with our Lord's Prayer like we always do. Are you ready to pray with me in this whale? Let's get going. Ready, pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. All right. I love you. See you soon.